What's up everyone, Paxton Elrod here, and you are watching the John Boy Media Science Fair where we have contestants try out a science experiment and then they get judged. This one they're going to be doing elephant toothpaste. Now they have to follow the instructions and convince our two judges that they know what they're talking about. Be sure to subscribe, by the way. Hello, today I'm showing you guys how to do elephant toothpaste because even the big animals got a brush. So first we're gonna have this empty bottle. I think this is about 473 milliliters, and you're gonna want make you're gonna want to make sure that's empty. So what, if you, if it's full, you're you, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna want to have this at the ready, and this is just it's hot. That's hot water in case I get thirsty. First, we're gonna take hydrogen peroxide, which I feel like is toxic, has no scent, and we're gonna pour a half a cup, which most people uh, wouldn't need to measure. I'm just gonna ballpark it after I pour it in here. That looks like it. it's pretty good. And sometimes you want to use the funnel because sometimes and then you're going to want to put all that in there and you really don't want to spill any because it is toxic I think you want to shake it most people wouldn't say to do it but you just want to give it a little shake I know what you're thinking boring let's add some color to this bad Larry um, and when you think oh what's the toothpaste red and then just a couple drops. You really want to measure that. It sounds like a goat sucking milk. <laughs> and then uh, what's going to make it fuzzy? The dish soap. So let's take this dish soap right here and we're going to measure it again because that's how you do it. One tablespoon, which is roughly an eighth of a cup. I, I, in my head, I think. That looks about right. And then we're going to pour Cut flip sides. People do that. Now we're just gonna mix. We're gonna do a nice mix. Looks right. And now there's yeast involved. I knew that. But you guys didn't. Boom. Active dry. This is where it gets hard for most people. But for me, no. We're gonna combine the warm water and the yeast together. Who needs scissors when I eat out science? I think that was gonna work. This is the stuff that makes bread. And then we're gonna put the water and the yeast together and mix for about 30 seconds. And we're gonna put the yeast and the water. Oh, it smells like bread. And melted ice cream. It's warm. 30 seconds, so I'm going to stand by. It's one of the weirder feelings I've ever felt, but I've done this a lot, so actually not. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting there. Just a reminder, all this stuff is toxic and deadly, so if you, you, make, you want to make sure you're wearing these gloves. I'm Jack. That's my name, and science is my game. Okay. <laughs> I wish I did that. Now, the adventure starts. We use the funnel to pour the yeast, into the bottle and then it's just gonna go. So everyone hold on, everyone hold on tight. Okay. <laughs> that's actually what you're, that's actually good. Good measure. All right, this one's for you guys. <laughs> okay. And you're gonna pour this in here. And here we go. I mean, that, I nailed that. So yeah, what you really want to see is a lot of this foam coming down on the sides. It is hot and, and that's exactly what it does. It smells like bread. And that's science. My name's Jack, science my game. Mm. I don't think they saw it. Hello everyone. 
Welcome to Dan's Science Fair. Today we are doing elephant's toothpaste, a common uh, science experiment for kids under the age of 10. Okay, a clean 16 ounce plastic soda bottle or water bottle, here that would be that, uh, 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. Where's my hydrogen peroxide? Got my hydrogen peroxide right there. One tablespoon of dry yeast. Yeast, where's our yeast? Is this like a trick? Where is it? That is yeast. It says it right there. Yeast. Eighth of a cup. I guess an eighth of a cup is a tablespoon. I don't know. I'm really bad with that. Should I admit that? Probably not. Three tablespoons of warm water, liquid dish soap. Um, use a funnel to carefully pour one half cup of hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. Okay. Funnel. That's. I feel like the hydrogen peroxide is the most important part of this experiment because that will make it fly, which we want. Hydrogen peroxide. Take a whiff. Mm, it smells good. What you want to do is get it nice and towards the bottom of the funnel. I've been funneled since my college days. Add about 10 drops of your favorite food coloring into the bottle. I like red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, one tablespoon of liquid dish soap into the bottle and swish the bottle around to mix it a bit. One tablespoon. This is where things could go awry. I don't know how tablespoons work. More is always better than less. Pop that in there. Every last bit counts. It smells good. <laughs> uh, swish it around a bit. That's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be real nice. In a separate small cup, combine the warm water and the yeast together for about 30 seconds. It should be a consistency of melted ice cream. Let's see, how much water do we want in this? In a separate small cup, combine warm water. It doesn't say. It doesn't say how much water you want in there. Uh, wow, where's the water? This is an important part. I don't want to mess this part up. Where is the water? Three tablespoons of warm water. But I don't have another cup, so this bottle right here. Anybody see that? So it's three tablespoons of warm water. Three tablespoons? Oh god. Oh god. Where's the funnel? <laughs> let's eyeball that. Oh, that changes things. Oh, we gotta add the yeast too. Um, let's see. How much yeast do we add? Oh, the separate cup. Yeast together. How much yeast? <laughs> One tablespoon of yeast. Is this open already? One packet? Okay. Yeah, I can't even read. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Let's get that in there. Let's get a little yeast up in this bitch. Yeast it up. That wasn't enough. That was didn't sound like enough, and it wasn't enough. I'm using this too. Oh boy, it's starting to move. All right, mm, things are. Why is it rising? Stop! Combine the warm water yeast together. For, mix it for 30 seconds. This is not melted ice cream. This is terrible. It should be the consistency of melted ice cream. Now the adventure starts. Use the funnel to pour the yeast water mixture into the bottle. Did that already? Where did I mess up? In a separate small cup, combine the water and the yeast together. I didn't do that, put it right into the thing. It should be about the consistency of melted ice cream. Add a bit more warm water if needed. Let's get this thing to rise. This will help. Go! That's not bad. It's going. It's not really red though. What's the, why, that's a problem. It's not stopping now. Be kind to me. 0.82. That's not good. That's not good. The problem for me was not mixing the yeast and the water in a separate cup. 
spin it up, then popping it in there. Still was an explosion. Had a freestyle at the end a little bit. Thought the scores could be a little bit higher. Um, which was still going, which should count for something. But my scores are my scores, and I have to live with them. So today we are going to be making something that has instructions. So we start with this clean bottle that has definitely not been used one or two times yet. Then I think I'm using this, if I'm correct. 20 volume. That definitely passed math class. We don't use measuring cups as this class. We believe in eye tests and maybe measuring cups. Now we're gonna believe in eye tests here. <laughs> what is the worst thing that could happen with this? Based on my eye test, I think we go a little bit more. <laughs> All right, perfect. The next we are going to use a tablespoon of dry yeast. Now, I thought this was mostly used for bread consumption, but I could be wrong. Might use a whole packet. It says a tablespoon, but I don't know actually know what that is. So we're just gonna pour some in and see what happens. That feels like a tablespoon. <laughs> All right, so next we are going to be using three tablespoons of warm water. If I'm correct, this seems like warm water. So we're gonna be pouring some warm water in here. Now it's already steaming and I'm already missing, but you might be mildly concerned with this and you should be, cause I'm also concerned. Next we're using liquid dishwashing soap. Now everyone's pointing cameras at this class, even though we said no technology was welcome. Which is a big concern of mine. Doesn't say exact amount of dishwashing soap, so we're just gonna eyeball it. And we're gonna put some in there, and that's what's happening there. And then we're gonna use food coloring. Now you might be a little worried about the early bubble, but just ignore it. We're gonna fight through, and we're gonna make it work. Small cup, what's the cup for? All right, this has gone astray already. <laughs> but we're just gonna get the food coloring in there. I think this is the food coloring. There we are. It's not taking it. <laughs> so we just gotta fight through to the next set. Unfortunately, I don't think we can proceed. I think I've got some mess. <laughs> now you may be wondering what the point of this was. It was to show what happens if you mix yeast, a lot of hydrogen peroxide, and dishwasher. This is what I got at the grocery store yesterday. <laughs> I decided to make an adult decision and go my own route. Cause I was like, these, if I don't get a four, these judges are rigged. I think I really impressed. I made it bubble the fastest. Five out of five. And that's what happens when you come to community college science class. Today is going to be the biggest day of your life, kids. First, you will need a clean 16 ounce plastic soda bottle. You see mine provided right here. You will need a 20 volume hydrogen peroxide liquid H2O2. Not, not H2O, LOL. Uh, what else will we need? One tablespoon of dry yeast. Yes. <laughs> Fleischmann's dry yeast. Only the best. A liquid dish washing soap, which we all have at our tables. Food coloring. Because Easter's around the corner. Uh, a small cup, funnel, safety goggles, and your adult adult help is right here. Let's let's jam into it. Use funnel. Why don't you all grab your funnel? Yeah! To carefully pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide liquid into the bottle. Hello. So get your bottle, get your funnel. Bada bing. Nope. Half cup, a hundred, that's, how many milliliters is that, kids? 118. Wow. Smart kids. Hello, Sh old shaky hands is back. That's... Look at that, and you pour that in your bottle right there. Step one, step fun is done. Step two, add 10 drops of your favorite food coloring into the bottle. I'm gonna go green. 
Green means go. Green means money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One tablespoon of liquid dish soap into the bottle and swish it around to mix it. Whoo, baby. Grab your one eighth cup and we're gonna fill it about halfway. Go, 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 go. Right there's about half, half, halfway. <laughs> I'm not talking to Ann. All right. And now that we've done that, we gotta mix it up a little bit. Make sure you got your cap on there. You don't wanna be spraying everywhere. And why don't you shake it up with your neighbors, huh? Round the back. Who's got the best trick shot? Look at that. Upside down. Looks like your parents' yummy smoothie, but let's not drink this, all right, everyone? Now, in a separate small cup, we're gonna combine warm water and the yeast together, and we're gonna mix that for about 30 seconds. It should be about the consistency of melted ice cream. Ooh. All right, and we're doing that in a separate small cup. This is our warm water, our yeast we always mix with. Separate cup, warm water and the yeast together. You know what, I'm gonna get the yeast in there first. Oh, it's a slow burn. So yeah, just one packet of your Fleischmann's, Fleischmann's active yeast, kids. And we're gonna mix it with our water. Okay, so we're gonna do one scoop of 30. So make sure you don't pour over the yeast, LOL. We're just gonna dump that in there and then we'll do another Half, half an eighth. Who knows, is that a sixteenth? Where my, where my STEM kids at? Uh, and we're just gonna mix this for about 30 seconds. Remember, till it's the consisti consistency of melted ice cream. While you're mixing at home, kids, don't subscribe to that YouTube channel. Make sure you grab your parents' YouTube channels and subscribe. All right, so we've got our ice cream. Nope, guys. And now the adventure starts. We're gonna use our funnel to pour the yeast water mixture into the bottle and watch the foaminess begin. So in three, two, one. Here we go, kids. Oh, can you believe it? Oh, it's a foam party like we're in Cancun in 2008, baby. Woo, see how much you can get in your mouth. It's a joke. Ryan, and this, kids, is how the volcanoes work. So next time you're there, don't bring your Fleischmann's Active Dry with you. Did I get the job? Judges? Yeah! Oh! A uh, perfect score seems pretty good. I don't know, I guess maybe this is, this could be a thing for me. Dr. Jake's science cake. So now, since you yes. just won this, you're going to be moving on to the finale, which is the volcano. 